This is a constant speed unit taken out of a multi-engine aircraft which I've sectioned to allow you to see the internal workings of the unit. Let's just take it apart so that we can discuss each individual component. This lever here is connected via a cable to the blue pitch change lever in the cockpit. In a multi-engine aircraft if the cable were to break because we have this tension spring here that tension spring would ensure that lever would go back to that position. That's going to provide you with the coarsest possible pitch available in that multi-engine aircraft. Now on a single engine, a basic single engine aircraft, the breakage of that cable would default this lever to that position also, but this time the propeller would provide, be provided with the finest pitch available. Here we have the speeder spring and here we have the pilot valve. The pilot valve goes inside this hole here. Here we have the flyweights. Because this unit is spinning, which you'll see in a moment, the flyweights will either be flung out through centrifugal force and as RPM decreases they'll move in. So the whole unit goes together like that and is spinning like this. With the unit now reassembled let's watch the operation of those flyweights. As I spin the unit hopefully you can see the flyweights moving out as the RPM increases. If I try and keep a constant RPM now and I'm going to release the tension on the spring hopefully you can see those flyweights have not moved out as much. Let's try that again. So what we're doing by changing the pitch of the propeller from the cockpit we're moving this lever which in turn is providing tension to that spring which in turn at a certain RPM is allowing these flyweights to either move out more or less which in turn is moving the pilot valve within this barrel and it's either exposing or blocking oil ports which is allowing oil to either flow or not flow to the pitch change actuator in the hub of the propeller. These two spur gears here are the booster pump. Oil which is used in the operation of the constant speed unit and pitch change mechanism is already under pressure complements of the engine driven oil pump but the pressure of that oil is not sufficient to change the pitch of the repeller spinning anywhere from say 850 to 2500 rpm in a typical light aircraft. So the booster pump quite simply boosts the pressure of that oil to ensure a high enough pressure to change the pitch of them propeller blades. And there you have it. Hopefully now with the uh, sectioned model it's allowed you to see the inner workings of the constant speed unit and hopefully it'll make the theory a little bit clearer for you.